Starting Monday, masks will be required again in schools, all Duluth public school buildings. That announcement follows guidance from the CDC and the Minnesota Departments of Health and Education, all encouraging face coverings as COVID cases continue to rise. The policy applies to all students, district staff, and the public, regardless of their vaccination status. And although masks are required now in Duluth school buildings, what the fall will look like for students is still up for debate. CBS 3's Natalie Grant shares how school officials are preparing to make a decision and what some parents think about a masked school year. Parents have a wide range of opinions on masks in the classroom. While some say they're unnecessary, others say they provide peace of mind. My daughter isn't vaccinated yet. She doesn't qualify. And so being able to, to have that extra protection, I think, is important. Katie Jackson's daughter will be attending kindergarten in Duluth this fall. She says sending her daughter to school with a mask is a small price to pay to keep everyone safe. For her and for, for other kids, I think it's important to, to, to protect them from, you know, spreading the virus unnecessarily. For in a few weeks, the Duluth School Board will vote on whether to require masks during the upcoming school year as the Delta variant spreads rapidly. In the meantime, the board's policy committee met Thursday evening, making clarifications and changes to the current mask policy. And the reason why we're bringing the face covering policy forward is that it was based largely on the, gov the governor's executive order which is now no longer in place. So if we are asking or requiring students to and staff to wear uh, face coverings, it's important for us to have the backup through policy or resolution to do so. A policy Magus and the committee agree should be flexible, so the masks can come and go depending on the state of the pandemic. So we want to create a policy that um, allows administration, if there are strong recommendations or circumstances that would warrant uh, face coverings, that we would be uh, able to enact that. Regardless of what's decided for the fall, Jackson says her daughter and other kids have already accepted the new normal. She's used to it. It bothers her less than anybody, I think. Kids are really adaptable. The decision on if students will have to wear masks this fall will go before the Duluth School Board on August 24th. We reached out to several other Northland schools to see if they have a decision, have come to a decision to mask for the fall. Many of them said that they will make that call later this month or plan on leaving the decision up to families.